Sir, you mentioned earlier that you directed officers to the Crumbly family home at 112 East in Oxford? Correct. Okay. And approximately how far in distance is that home to the school? A mile. Okay. Yeah. Um, and as officer in charge and as a, a sheriff's office employee, you're aware that, that uh, vehicles have uh, in-car recording capability? Yes. Okay. <coughs> So I'm going to show you what's been, I believe, stipulated to is Exhibit 341. This is an uh, in-car video um, of Deputy Zajac's marked patrol car. That's 341. I'm sorry, I'm just Was that admitted to Joe Bryan or not? No, just 342 was. And 342. I'm sorry, we have no objection to 341. Right, 341 is admitted. Okay. And... Um, Sir, <coughs> so we're clear, the deputies arrived at 112 East at 2.48 p.m., 2.49 p.m.? Yes. And that's November the 30th, 2021? Yes. Okay. And as we saw in the, um, in the video, the shooter was taken into custody at 1 p.m.? Yes. Okay. Correct. <laughs>
He's not going to be able to hear you. Jen, Jen, he can't hear you. started at 2.49 p.m. November the 30th. This was after they had spoke with Sergeant Joe Bryan at the Oxford substation, correct? Yes. Okay. And the video that we saw with Sergeant Pesky, that occurred directly after this. That's correct. Okay. So when she was taken out of the vehicle, she was placed in a different vehicle, and that's where Sergeant Pesky spoke with her? Correct. Okay. 